how are you, Dr. Bogdan? Very well, thank you very much. So, uh, what do you feel about coming back to Sri Lanka after two years' time? Firstly, I think it's been far too long, way too long. Uh, so it feels like there's so much these two years. But on the other hand, it feels like I have been here last time yesterday because the campus is bigger and bigger and growing. That is the same, full of students, full of staff, and it's vibrant. I really like it. Okay. And uh, so, as you're aware, so all the University of Plymouth related programs and all the other lectures and all the other deliveries were conducted via online platform during the past two to two and a half years. So what are your views about the manner in which NSBM approached and handled this entire uh, pandemic situation and the studies related to uh, SAFE? I think it went very well. What I can say, it, it, it basically mirrored what we've done at Plymouth. It's all the, the, the processes went very well given the circumstances. Uh, we relied a lot on technology and technology didn't fail us. So it was, it was an excellent, excellent process, excellent delivery. Uh, the students benefited a lot. They were not quite as being face to face, but they actually received an excellent program as part of this. And last year I did the same as the lecturers here. So I delivered it online. But this year I came over to do face to face. Yes. And now the entire world is somewhat shifting back to the new normal. So can you just tell us a bit about how UK is handling uh, the approaches when the UK approaches when it comes to the higher education system right now? So we, in Plymouth, we're moving very fast face to face. So since September, we've run all our sessions face to face with a backup for uh, remote learners. But the emphasis and the, the, the push was for the students to join face to face. There is no better option. Um, there is a, uh, uh, we can substitute for online, but the best education is definitely face to face with the students in lectures and labs participating and getting involved with the, with the material. Okay. And uh, so my final question to you would be, as you can see, we have moved on to phase two development uh, at NSBM and then we are also looking into getting more uh, foreign affiliations and then coming up with new curriculums and other foreign uh, related degree programs. So, what is your overall view about uh, NSBM approach uh, to the future? I've been lucky enough to be with NSBM since its start and I've, it's been a pleasure to see it growing and I think it's just the next phase two, as it's called at the moment on campus, it's just the next natural phase. So NSBM has been growing at a, a, a fantastic play, uh, pace and uh, we're very honored and happy at Plymouth to be part of this uh, of this growth and we've been working very closely with colleagues here we're at the moment in the process of, uh, of bringing in new degrees in, uh, in in all the areas I, I would say across the university and it's it's a pleasure to see the campus growing and the number of students increasing and one last question so do you have any message to the students out there who are willing to join NSBM or rather uh, just become a part of NSBM and follow a Plymouth-related degree program or any other foreign affiliated degree program? Oh, just come, just come. It, it will be tough work. I, I can't promise you an easy life, but once you graduate, you'll have an amazing career. Join us, join us face to face, not online. Join us face to face. Come over here, enjoy the campus, enjoy the facilities and see the stuff, including myself. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much, Dr. Bokken. Thank you. Today.